Hi, this is David. I'm doing a quick screencast of showcasing Sage TV Client running on Windows 7 64-bit. Um, what I wanted to show everyone first of all is that um, Sage TV Client can work with commercial skipping on the client end, um, but there's a few requirements that have to be set first or met first. Um, the content that is stored on the Sage TV Media Server has to be accessible to the client. In this case, um, I am showcasing here uh, a number of map drives that point back to my uh, CCTV server, which is called Living Room. And on that server, there's a number of different drives, which have each been mapped here. They're almost all full, but they all contain the videos that CCTV has recorded, along with the commercial skip files that CCTV has generated for each of those recordings. So I'm going to go ahead and launch CCTV and get it connected to the um, client. Sage TV is actually being used on the server right now. There's um, somebody watching that. But um, we will be able to connect the uh, client at the same time. And we'll be able to play back video um, on the client without affecting the server um, as far as recording or um, anything like that is concerned. So here uh, we are. This is the client. It's up and running. We actually can see that there is something recording right now. If we look at the uh, recording schedule by like clicking the recording icon, we can see here that there's two shows that are currently recording um, via the uh, HDHR tuner. If we go back to the home screen, um, we can uh, see a full listing of all the different content that is on this uh, TiVo, and we can actually see that um, you know whichever uh, particular show that we want to watch. We can see uh, before we start watching it whether or not it has been commercial skipped. So in this case, you can see here that the commercial skipping has taken place, and the locations of the commercial segments that were detected have been denoted in dark green, and the valid show segments have been um, denoted in light green. Also, we can see that uh, we have watched part of this show already, um, as denoted here by the blue bar. If I click that show, I can resume playback. And um, the show is going to start resuming, and uh, it's going to start playing back. And um, of course, I can uh, view this full screen. And you can see here, this is also HD content. So it's been recorded in full 1080p or 1080i, depending on whatever is broadcast in originally. Um, but it has been completely digitally recorded. So um, it's just a nice MPEG file that's probably about 10 to uh, you know, 6 to 10 gigabytes in size. Uh, and it's playing perfectly fine over a Wi-Fi connection that is uh, 100 and um, 50 or so megabit per second. So I want to quickly show you how you can navigate through the commercial segment using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. You can just navigate back and forth in between the uh, commercial segments. And as you're hitting one of these segments, it will automatically skip right over the commercial um, you know, uh, during playback. So if I hit play now, um, it's just going to go ahead and skip right over that commercial um, that would otherwise be commercial content. Um, unless I, you know, stop and pause right over here, or unless I, uh, you know, turn auto skip off. So uh, this is a nice way to completely avoid commercials uh, during playback. Um, if you wanted to view them, you could still, uh, you know, click on the commercials themselves. But if you didn't want to view them, you just hit the right arrow key, or as I said, do nothing during playback, and it will actually um, go right through. If you are um, doing some skipping right before a commercial, um, it will disable auto skip for five seconds, and that's one of the features that can be enabled or disabled based on your preference. So um, that's just a quick uh, showcase of how commercial skipping works in Sage TV on the client. I wanted to share that with everyone, and this is also going to be used as a showcase uh, screener, screencast on some of my other posts. Uh, thanks again for watching, and have a good day.